All right, so real quick, before I start making a beat, I was in Tokyo in the previous video, I'm back in the UK now. I still have so much Tokyo footage that I need to edit, so they'll be coming out probably every few weeks or so. But there have been like so many albums that have come out, so many tracks I wanted to cover, and that is exactly why I'm going back on FL Studio. While I was in a studio session in Shinjuku, a couple of the producers told me about a new genre, and the genre is called New Jazz, and it's a very addicting genre to listen to. But I learned that this genre is like not new at all, it's like a year or two old by this point. Like, and from what I've seen so far of the new Tekka album, seems to be a couple new jazz beats on there as well. So in today's one, I'm going to be learning how to make new jazz. Like, what do I even look up to learn this kind of stuff? Like, new jazz beat sound selection, maybe? I don't know. Hmm, okay. I'm seeing some purity. I'm seeing some, what else? Some Electra X. I think this guy's using Xenology. Okay. I think I'm going to go for a BPM of around about, uh, what's a good BPM for this stuff? 128. So I'm opening up Xenology. I think for the first one, I'm going to do a bit more upbeat. I don't remember how this plugin works. Okay. I'm going to sort by rating. This one's pretty good. I just don't really like some of the harmonies that go with it. If I turn off this one, it probably goes away. Like all the beats I've listened to over the past month sound pretty similar. I'm gonna try and make it sound as similar as possible without just like copying a melody that I've already heard. Kind of hard to explain my thought process for this because I'm kind of just not thinking. Might move a couple of the notes around. I'm gonna like decrease the velocity slightly. I'm just wondering how many instances of Xenology am I gonna have by the end of this? I'm gonna clone that. I know this genre has a lot of like lead synth melodies. I'm gonna see what I can find. Yeah, I'll we'll see what we can do with that. I don't know about this last part. Mm, okay. So I'm gonna clone Synology again. I think I'm just gonna keep layering leads on top of each other. All right, that one sounds very stupid, but I'm gonna use it anyway. I need to change something about this sound. It's cool, but it's just really annoying. I'm gonna mute it. I want a sawtooth sound now. Okay, it sounds cool. I'm gonna turn the delay off though.
This definitely sounds similar to a melody that I've heard already. Definitely gonna be a track from Venny though. If I end up remembering the track, I'll throw it on screen here. I'm sort of trying to emulate how like a brass instrument would play. I actually have no idea. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna clone it. There's already five Xenologies on my PC. Alright, this sounds so dumb. I'm gonna see what these two sound like on top of each other. I'm gonna leave the melody like that for now. I'm going to do something that I almost never do, which is start with bassline first. And I've actually been given some new technology for this. Jay Cactus, the Cactus Enjoyer. He's released a sample pack and it's called the Sacred Trap Suite. And a few days ago, he was kind enough to send this to me. And I've had a quick look around the pack. Comes with a loop kit, a one shot kit. The analog lab bank, I'm very impressed by. One of my favorite parts of the whole kit for sure. And true say, this pack is mostly tailored towards like dark trap beats or UK rap type of stuff, like nines type beats. On this channel, I rarely use packs for their intended use. So I'm gonna see if I can use some of the sounds in here and apply this to new jazz type beat. I mean, it's still trap, so I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, that's a lot of 808s. What is this? 808 top layer. I think they're supposed to be used as like high end for the 808. Mm, I think for the first one, I'm gonna need something like thick. And I think I'm just gonna make this follow the root notes. the slide last slightly longer. Yeah. People are calling this the Benny X808. To me, it just sounds like a normal acid bass that you would make in serum or something. I'm gonna make it slide as well. Maybe down an octave. I'm also realizing this is supposed to sound like something from plan A. It does not sound anything like plan A. I think I'm gonna add like one more 808. Okay, some of these hit really hard. I want a roll here somewhere. I said that was the last one, but I'm gonna add one more 808. All right, instead of adding another 808 sample, I'm gonna take like a distorted one. And I'm going to inspect it. I wanna create a slide with this thing. So I'm gonna take two segments of it. I'm gonna make sure I'm using the zero point and I'm going to set loop. I'm gonna drag this out. Okay, the loop isn't perfect, but it's good enough for what I'm trying to do, so. That's sounding pretty good. Definitely gonna need some mixing. I want some sort of like accents now. Increase the attack a little bit. like a folder exclusively for glitches. What is this? Ah, okay. They're kind of like hi-hat rolls, basically.
I noticed some of the instrumentals on YouTube have a lot of like Street Fighter sounds. So in preparation for this, I downloaded like free new jazz kit off of YouTube, I think. Out of context shadow. What shadow? Keanu Reeves type shadow? Something tells me that I don't want to touch that green energy fluid. <laughs> what? I can use those bombs that the gun robots are dropping. The English dub of Death Note is sounding very peculiar. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Yoshi. Man, I'll put some reverb on that or something. It'll be fine. <laughs> some boondocks type shit. Okay. Sounds like elevator music. to a mixer track and we're gonna mix and arrange everything. I'm gonna completely destroy this synth because it just sounds so annoying. Alright, so I've made a rough arrangement for the beat. There's some really cool transitions and rises in this pack as well, so I thought I'd throw those in. I feel like that one's goofy enough to work, so I'm gonna throw that in somewhere as well. I'm gonna right click, create automation clip, and put the whole thing down to zero, and then I'm gonna slowly pitch it up like this. I could definitely add more like Street Fighter effects. I think my favorite part of the beat is probably like the four bass lines all playing around the same time. I think I was trying to do some sort of call and response thing with the bass line and it doesn't, it doesn't really work. But I think for a first attempt, that is really not too bad. I think I'll probably run out of time for this video, but for sure I'm gonna do another one. I'm thinking about doing a style more like Eric Doa or something slightly darker and more up-tempo. Otherwise, I'm gonna say a very big thank you again to Jay for sending me the pack. I'd say if you're looking for a new drum kit for dark trap beats, this is gonna be a solid pick. It could probably even work for jazz drill. I'll leave a link to the kit in the description, obviously feel free to check that out and i'm still learning this genre so if you've got any tips or like forbidden technology you need me to know feel free to leave a comment as well i also want to say real quick big thank you for the support on the recent videos very different stuff to what i usually put out so i was not too sure how they were going to be received of course you let me know whether you want to see more of this style or more stuff in tokyo of course i'll be happy to upload either one but for now i'm going to go back to this style but yeah this is what the final beat sounds like <laughs> 